welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I know, I know it's been a while. Um, but I have had one disaster after another. And, uh, well, I'm going to show you some of the things I've been dealing with. But, 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 um, I have, I have made progress. Uh, not much, but some progress. Um. I'm sorry, progress. Um, yeah, um, th things have just been falling apart, and uh, I want to uh, give you, I know I gave you an update um, like two weeks ago, but um, don't think that uh, I'm not doing it. With the outboard things and small engines, I've just been, wow, man. I mean, everything's been breaking. Um, everything's a shaking. Everything's a breaking. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything, just goodness gracious. Um, and beside everything breaking, please understand that I'm on a rock 280 miles off the coast of mainland Alaska. That ain't no excuse. No, you're right. But um, it's tough. I mean, just had everything. My truck, my van, my Taco Mama Toyota even has had issues with things falling apart and breaking apart. So, I went out and I consulted Fret, my counseling frog. And he uh, gave me good advice and I took it. I always take it from Fret, but I had some other people stop in here and go, Hey, man, Fred's wrong. He's wrong. I'll show you. Okay. We're making a little progress here. That paint's still wet. That's why it looks patchy. It's my second coat. Making progress. Long way to go. Still got stuff strewed everywhere. Uh, but. We're getting there. Slowly. That paint sure is drying a lot darker than when it goes on, it's a light gray. And then, boy, when it dries, it 
you can see the patches probably you can see some of the lighter stuff there and when that dries it'll be the color of the darker stuff but I'm gonna have shelves and stuff and yup but up but up but up a whole bunch of stuff Garage door is shut so I can get the paint to dry. Because the paint has to dry. Barely got room to even move around. Yeehaw!
Well, I know my light ain't very good in here, but there's the new workbench. I gotta paint it yet. And, uh, ain't sure what I'm gonna do up on the wall behind it yet. Ain't sure if I'm gonna cover that with. I've got a sheet of stainless steel, I've got a sheet of aluminum. I don't know. But it's got casters on it. I can pull it in and out real easy. And uh, my woodworking buddy Charlie built that for me. Did a good job. It's strong. It's sturdy. That's, that's a thick, thick, tough bench. So it'll do what I need to do. And uh, I still got a lot of mess in here to clean up. But I'm getting it slowly. But this was a big one. Uh, I needed to get this. Yeah. You see that? Yes, it's Alaska. Yes, it's Alaska. And yes, it's cold. And yes, this is a barbecue grill. We still do that. You understand? What is that? What is that? That is... In my... Vidos, I have uh, introduced you to Mountain Man Mike. He's on the History Channel. That show, The Mountain Men. He's a true mountain man. And this is what he brings me. This is a Fognac Island elk steak tenderloin tender tender tenderloin mountain man mike on the history channel yummy this meat is so wonderful um i can't even describe it to the um person who's never had um the chance to enjoy wild game, um, mostly, you know, deer, venison, elk. Um, I even sometimes get lucky and get moose and uh, bison, buffalo, um, which I'm hoping to get soon. But um, this is my favorite, elk, um, cooked about like I've got it here, which is this beautiful you know, rare, um, medium rare. It's so wonderful. You put some uh, mushrooms, fresh mushrooms with some Yoshida sauce on those and some onions and bell peppers. Toss it, you know, toss this in there after that. Yummy. anywhere in the whole now territory I came by here cuz I heard you were out there tearing outboards apart I heard that you were scaring a little bit of children and telling them all kind of awful stories about outboards well, I never heard anything like that. So, I'm telling you, I'm going to keep an eye out on you. I'm going to watch you. I'm going to spy on you. And if I see that you've been tearing up perfectly made American outboards and scaring a little bit of cheering, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to fix you. And I'm going to fix...
fix you right! Hey there! Whippersnapper, it's me! Trader Jim! Well now, I was just in the neighborhood. I stopped in up at the Cannery Road. And I saw my cousin, Billy Ray, third connected. Yes, yeah, sir, I stopped up there and talked to him. He told me some disturbing things. He told me that old Jim out the sawmill, you know, Jim and Paul, they said that you were scrupulous, tricking little kids, not giving them candy, but trying to give them outboard parts. Oh, man. I just say, I've been up in the whole North Territory trading, come down here, try to do some trading. I wanted to do some trading with you. But, man, if what Billy Ray, my cousin, third connected, said you're doing, oh man, you better stand by, because you're going to get a whole load. It's coming to you, right at you. More vids are coming from your host, Cody Bass.